I'm here to tell you folks that show yourself some grace. The, the whole purpose of planning is finding uh, your own style of planning and to experiment and to be flexible and to have fun. You're at that point where you're feeling frustrated with your planner system, you're thinking it's not working right, it's okay to change things up. Hello beautiful peeps of YouTube and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and you're watching my so-called life plans and here in this channel I love 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 to share with you all the ways I can help you plan your way to calm. And in this video I'm going to share with you um, how my planner system has changed and evolved since uh, January. Uh, January 2023 is when I decided that I would like to get back into planning because I needed some ways to um, help manage my anxiety and planning has always been um, one of the many ways I help to uh, calm uh, myself and calm my anxiety. Okay, so this is <laughs> the collection of planners that I have uh, been using so so sort of <laughs> um for 2023 in some capacity with the exception of this one here and i'm just going to dive right in this is the kate spade wellesley planner and this is by far has been one of my favorite planners uh because it's compact it's beautiful it's stylish but unfortunately it is damaged and although it looks great on the outside when i reveal on the inside cue music Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> uh, again it looks okay but then yeah it's been damaged and my heart is broken i won't get into the details on how it was damaged but needless to say it has rendered the damage has rendered the planner unusable right now and i'm just trying to figure out ways i can uh fix this planner because it again it is my favorite and also it was very difficult for me to find inserts for this planner here in canada so this has been put on the back bit the back burner and i hope to resurrect this planner in the future but i've been using and loving this planner for so so many years but this year i had to move away from this and so i decided um to kind of look at more options and so I've always used and loved the Happy Planner system. And Happy Planners are are great. Um, I've used them for a lot of years and they're just, they're available, readily available everywhere. And they have the great stickers and everything. But because I've used this planner for so long and these planners for so long, I was craving something different. And so I hopped on social media and did some research and I found that there were other options out there. I really wanted to get my hands on a Moxie Life planner, um, but unfortunately shipping to Canada was exorbitant and really expensive. And I just couldn't justify spending almost $200 on a planner right now, just with my budget. So I had to put that aside. Plum paper planner, I've used those planners in the past and loved them. But um, again, I wanted something different. So I put this aside and did some research. And what I found was the Hobonichi planner. And so with the Hobonichis, they were great. I uh, discovered, first discovered this planner from Julie's Plans. I know I mentioned her name a lot, but that's because I love her so much. She's just one of my favorite, all time favorite YouTubers, but she was the first one who showcased the Hobonichi a while back. And I, I saw it and I was like, wow, I think I really want to try it, but I've always been too intimidated because I just didn't understand how it all worked. But um, it's quite simple, very easy to use. I got one as my work planner, fell in love with it. Shortly after that, I got another one that I thought I would use as my social media planner. And unfortunately, it just didn't work for me for my social media planner because I write really big. I write a lot in terms of planning my content and things like that. And so I've moved away from this and I've returned to uh, the happy planner for my social media planning, but I still use and love uh, these Hobonichi weeks. And so what I've done is I've turned this planner into my exercise planner, or that's my intention anyway, I haven't done so yet. And I'm just really excited um, I, I haven't fit these in here yet, but um, I'm really excited that it's so compact and it's great. And that's something I can just carry with me, like to the gym or on the go in the meeting or whatever I need to do. And it's just it's been such a great system for me. Speaking of great systems, I have discovered the Hobonichi Cousin. Again, from Julie's Plans channel, 
I just absolutely love this planner. And when I talk about how my planner game has changed, this would probably be uh, the quintessential example of how it's changed. Uh, just because just the design of the planner and this functionality and the way I use it, um, I tend to get sick of planners sometimes and I feel guilty for having spent the money, but you know, uh, it's not fulfilling all my needs and I try to look elsewhere. I don't feel like that with this planner. This planner has been an exceptional addition to my planning systems. And I just find it's very comprehensive, easy to use. I can decorate it if I want to. I can keep it minimalist and simple. There's yearly, monthly, weekly, and um, daily views. I love the daily page section because I could almost use it as a memory keeping section. I use it as a journaling section, which has really helped with my anxiety. And it's just been such a, an amazing purchase. Best money I've spent in terms of planning. I just absolutely love it. And I got a case for it and it's just been working out really, really, really well. Love this planner. And, and when it comes to uh, my faith planning, uh, I've really, uh, I don't want to use the word struggle because that seems extreme, but I've really been experimenting with different types of faith planners. I started off with the daily prayer book. I thought it was great, but then it became really personal, not comprehensive enough for my faith planning needs. So then I moved to back to a happy planner. It's kind of my old standby. I really liked the moods. Um, planner that they used to have. Unfortunately, they don't make it anymore. They just have uh, this design of happy planner and it's okay, but it's not, it's not what I would love in a, a planner, um, a faith planner. And I use it sort of, but I just find I'm still trying to work things out. Um, I just find the, the design and the setup is something I just I'm struggling to get used to, but I hope in time I can make it my own um, and make it function for me. And I think that's what planning and finding planning systems is all about. It's really about trying to, you know, find um, a system that you enjoy using and that works um, for you, but something that you can, you know, feel free to experiment experiment with and walk away from and try something new. Um, if I can you know, offer any advice when it comes to planning, especially planning your way to calm, is keep it simple. Choose to, you know, experiment and try new things. Um, it's, it's okay to buy a planner and if it doesn't work, it's okay to set it aside and try something else. And it's all a work in progress and it's all about, you know, having fun with it and making it functional for you and your unique needs and lifestyle and sharing, you know, various aspects of your planning, whether that's through a planner group or community, getting new ideas and um, sharing you know, like the fun of planning. That's what I love about it. It's just so much fun. I also find it calming as well. So, you know, if you're at that point where you're feeling frustrated with your planner system, you're thinking it's not working right, it's okay to change things up. And it's okay to discover uh, new things and rediscover old classics and find a way or find different planners that work for your specific needs. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, my planner system is uh, a work in progress as an evolution. Um, I could continue with these planners. I could change it up if I find something new. And you know what? That's okay. It's okay for me and it's also okay for you. So thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, I love sharing these planner videos with you. And um, it's just been such a joy and such a way to help me manage my anxiety. You have no idea um, just what a blessing this has been. This journey has been for me um, sharing with all of you. So thank you so much for being here. And until the next video, my friends, take care, be well and be blessed. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, friends.